How to Build a Superhero Breastplate by fantasy author David J. Guyton. This is hands down the coolest thing I've ever built in my life. Um, hopefully you guys will have just as much fun building it as I did. A couple of questions first. Will I build you one? No. Can I buy yours? No. This is why I make these tutorials. Is it bulletproof? No. Will it give me superpowers? Incredibly, yes, it will. I know you guys are excited, so grab your hammers and let's get started. Get your template by clicking under the video or in the video, or go directly to armortemplates.com, where all my templates are available. Here's a bunch of the parts uh, traced out on the metal. This is a three foot by three foot piece of metal I got from Amazon for about 24 bucks. 20 gauge steel, cold rolled steel. Here's all the parts cut out, hard parts done. Make sure to label the parts, makes it much easier to keep track of things. File the parts too, you don't want any sharp stuff next to your skin. The whole point of armor is to keep sharp things off, off of your skin. Here I'm beginning the dishing with a leather hammer. You can use a regular uh, ball peen hammer as well. All of these parts are going to be dished, so you're going to need a dishing stump, which is just a stump with a little kind of dished out area in it. Anvil is also very handy to have for flattening, planishing. Here's one of the ab pieces that I'm dishing out. This is a polished sledgehammer head that I have in a vise here. I don't know how you could get this project done without this, so you're going to need a sledgehammer head or something a lot like it in order to make this work. Here's the abs dished out, the bottom ones, and now all of them. You can see the huge difference it makes as opposed to leaving them flat. Here I'm working on the rib cage part dishing it out a little bit as well and planishing it as well the pectoral muscles are um, a little bit more complicated because uh, they have to conform to the shape of the rib cage part that you build so it does take a little bit of work and a little bit of time but it's not that hard same process for all the parts Dish, planish, repeat, and assemble. Here I've got the parts laid out. You can see they, they're supposed to line up perfectly here. Needs a little bit more work in a couple of areas, and it'll look great. The hardest part is the shoulders, which you see me working on here. These have to be dished to the point where they're basically like, uh, like football pads um, on your shoulders. And so uh, it takes a lot of work to get them to, to dish out very well. But, uh, it, but it's perfectly doable, it's not that hard to do. Looking okay so far. Again, planishing. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of planishing. Here I've got all of the parts, uh, I roll the edge a bit down, but wherever they're gonna touch your skin, I roll them out. You don't want that sharp edge touching your skin. This is a flap wheel on a handheld grinder. Um, to avoid a, a lot of polishing or uh, planishing, I'm going to polish it with this first um, and get rid of some of these minute bumps. Here's all the parts nice and shined up, but they leave little scratches, so we're going to have to get rid of those with sandpaper. Not fun, but necessary step. Here I'm experimenting with where to put the hinges for the pectoral muscles. Here I've got the um, the, a, a part marked out for where to cut out the the crest, and I just use a Dremel tool with a cutout tool, a cutoff tool to uh, to carefully make this cut. See, they fit together just great. I got about a one inch gap here, and I'm just plotting out where to put this thing. I'm using these little spacers, just a couple of nuts and bolts and washers and stuff I found. Just using ordinary hinges to hinge it. You may want to use very small bolts to rivet it to the rib cage because the rivets are going to be very hard to get back there to hammer on. The repose process, I'm not going to bore you guys with. Um, I have another tutorial on how to do this. So um, if you want to see that, just click in the bottom corner and you can see the whole process. Looking pretty good. 
Getting it to fit perfectly to the pectoral muscle is a little bit difficult though and it will take you some time to convince the metal to do what you want it to do. When you get it right, just rivet it down. Using copper rod here. Here I've got a spring on the back of uh, the pectoral muscle and a little washer I made to keep it in place. And I'm using one of the rivets here to secure it to the pectoral muscle from the back. Here's some chain I found. Um, you can use anything, but just whatever you can find to secure the spring to the other side. And now you can see you've got a spring-loaded pec muscle uh, for better articulation. This is a power punch I got from Amazon for about 30 bucks. You can use a drill bit instead, but this is much easier. Here I've got the parts marked out in white charcoal, and I'm just basically, after I've got the rivet holes uh, punched out, I'm going to use a punch and mark all the holes. There's detailed instructions on how to do this in the template as well, guys. Here I've got roofing nails pushed through the back, and I'm just basically going to assemble it by putting all the parts on it cutting the rivets off and hammering them down. Time consuming, but not hard. Here's one of the back pieces on there. The back is a little bit more complicated because the parts are curved, unlike the parts on the front. So um, make sure to keep fitting it to yourself. And this actually works a lot better if you've got a partner to help you, uh, you know, fit and bend as you go. Here I'm riveting the abs section to the rib cage, and I'm going to use these little cheap um, plastic snaps to connect the front and back parts together. Picked them up for a couple of bucks at Amazon. Easy. This is the strap that goes over the shoulder. You don't have to put these metal pieces on, but I think it looks much better. Um, and I've also got um, a couple of these straps. I ended up using three. Um, to secure the shoulder piece after after we're done with this uh, this part. So secure this to the pectoral muscle at the front and the back one part at the top of the, of the back. And you'll see that the shoulders um, probably will have to be trimmed a little bit before you put them on. So you can see I got one trimmed here and one not. Also you're gonna have to make sure to put foam on the back side of everything that touches your skin. You don't want any of this stuff to touch your skin, guys. Very important. You don't want to get cut. This is the entire piece, and here it is finished. It's a lot of work, guys, uh, but none of it is all that hard. Um, it does take a lot of time. It took me about um, 10 to 12 days to build this thing, but of course I had to film it too, um, so maybe you guys do a little faster than I can, but I really like it and very proud of it. Definitely uh, one of the best things I've ever built in my life, and I'm happy to show you guys how to do it. Make sure to find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash armor templates. We have all kinds of contests and stuff over there where I have giveaways and whatnot, so give the page a like. And make sure to find my webpage, armortemplates.com. And check out all my other videos. I've got lots and lots of armor videos you guys can have fun watching. So, please, if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time, guys. Next time.